Good evening, everyone. I am so honored to be able to join you this evening for the presentation of these Freedom Awards. Last year, Russian forces entered Ukraine and began the process of occupying and annexing Crimea. Today, they are seeking to destabilize the entire Ukrainian state. Vladimir Putin is not the first autocratic leader to believe that might makes right. But as we witnessed throughout the communist era in Eastern Europe, military power is not the only kind of power. There is also the moral power of those who dare to resist. People like Andrei Sakharov, Vaclav Havel, and here in Poland, Lech Walesa, and Karol Wojtyła. In their earlier years, they didn't command armies. Instead, they commanded intense moral authority. They stood for freedom, and ultimately they triumphed. Today, it's the people of Ukraine who are standing for freedom, for responsive and transparent governance. Their Maidan revolution continues, and it is my privilege to present two Freedom Awards to those who are on the front line in this fight for Ukraine and for freedom. The first award is to the Donetsk National University. Last year, pro-Russian separatists, backed by Russian forces, seized the city of Donetsk and declared a Soviet-style People's Republic. Armed rebels took over Donetsk National University, the region's most prestigious college. They ousted the school's Ukrainian rector, ordered the Russification of the curriculum, and destroyed any semblance of academic freedom. Rather than submit, the rector and core faculty members left Donetsk and transplanted the school 800 kilometers to the west. Donetsk National University became Ukraine's first university in exile. It's been a struggle to survive. But for all of us in the Transatlantic Alliance, the university has become a proud symbol of both academic freedom and Ukrainian independence. To accept the Freedom Award, we're honored to have with us the university's rector, Roman Grinyuk, and a student of law, Iria Nahorniak. Please come forward to accept this award on behalf of the proud, free, and independent Donetsk National University. Добрий вечір, пані та панове. Зворушливо і почесно для мене стояти сьогодні перед вами. Людьми, які високо оцінили наш кровний внесок в розвиток свободи в Україні і світі. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's such an honorable for me to stand here today in front of you, the people who highly praised our modest contribution to the development of freedom in Ukraine and the world. Донецький національний університет завжди був не просто центром освіти і науки. Він був осередком академічної свободи, в якому мирно співіснували провладні та опозиційні думки. Донецьк національний університет завжди був не просто центром освіти і науки. Він був осередком академічної свободи, в якому мирно співіснували провладні та опозиційні думки. Це був нюкліус академічної свободи, в якому правоправдані та опозиційні думки коексистували пісфоли. Так було до війни. Люди, яких нам здавалося, ми знали і любили, стали по різні сторони завдяки російській агресії та пропаганді. Я хочу наголосити на тому, що Донецьк до останнього боровся за своє українське майбутнє. Such course of events was before the war. People who we knew and loved as they fought stood on different parties due to the Russian aggression and propaganda. I would like to emphasize that Donetsk was fighting for its Ukrainian future to the bitter end. 
саме в Донецьку на мирних мітингах за Україну було розгорнуто найбільший державний прапор. Студенти і викладачі Донецького національного університету стояли пліч-опліч, співали гімн України і не могли собі уявити, що наші тодішні сусіди, колеги і навіть друзі свідомо стануть кричати «Вон із Донбаса». Villages national colors were deployed exactly during the peaceful rallies in Donetsk. Students and lecturers of Donetsk National University were standing side by side and were singing the national anthem. They had no idea that their neighbors, even friends and colleagues, would shout consciously, get out from Donbass. Як відомо, університет – це не стіни, це дух. Почуття відповідальності перед колективом та власні державницькі позиції обумовили переїзд університету до міста Вінниці. Я вважаю, що зовсім не випадково ми отримали можливість розташуватися в будівлі колишнього ювелірного заводу. Ці стіни пам'ятають майстрів, що тримали в руках діаманти. І ми сьогодні також надаємо форму талановитим студентам та науковцям, діамантам України. It is known that university is not just walls, this is the spirit. My own state positions and responsibility before the new staff led to the relocation of the university to the Vinitsa. I believe that it's not accidental that we have an opportunity to stay in the building of a former jewelry factory. These walls remember the masters who were holding the diamonds in their hands. Nowadays, we put into the shape talented students and researchers, Ukrainian diamonds. В жовтні 2014 року була тільки віра та щире бажання зберегти славетне ім'я Донецького національного університету. Багато хто сумнівався, вважаючи нас політичним проєктом, але ми змогли. In October 2013, there were only faith and sincere desire to save the glory name of the Donetsk National University. People had doubts. They considered us to be a political project. However, we succeeded. За сучасних умов, Донецький національний університет пройшов тест на національну та професійну гідність. Більше п'яти тисяч студентів вибороли своє конституційне право на вищу освіту в Україні. Донецьк національний університет має пасти тест на своєї національної та професійної дігності. Більше 5000 студентів реконкурили своє конституційне право на вищу освіту в Україні. Завдяки вашій підтримці та довіри з боку європейських партнерів ми починаємо новий етап досконалення слави і честі Донецького національного університету. І мені дуже приємно, що сьогодні в цьому залі я знайшов дуже багато друзів, тих щирих людей, які готові допомогти колективу Донецького національного університету. І ще приємніше, що в цьому залі знаходиться і випускник Донецького національного університету Григорій Неміра. By virtue of your support and European trust of the partners, I believe that we become a new stage of improving the glorious and oral name of Donetsk National University. It's amazing that I have found this whole different people and friends who want to help us. It's amazing that I have found our graduate from Donetsk National University, Rigori Nimira. God help us all. Slava Ukraini! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be here in this hall next to the outstanding fighters for freedom all over the world. Nowadays, my country understands the horror of war. My hometown is exhausted. During the last year, people don't sleep there. Children are playing in the bomb shelters, and seniors are dying due to the starving or lack of medicine. Social protests, peaceful Ukrainian rallies in Donetsk in March, death of Dmitry Chernyavsky, evacuation of students from faculties in May are always in our memory. Nevertheless, we believed that we could save and defend Ukraine in Donbass. 
That's why me and my groupmates were sitting in the basement and were waiting for the 1st of September, where we can meet at the university. We felt that this day would be the end of the war for the sake of children. We believed that national colors and terrorists of foreign state couldn't decide our fate, but we were wrong. I have always been an active student, had an excellent grades, and could pretend to be education uh, at the top universities of Ukraine or Europe. But for me, and for a plethora of students of Donetsk National University, there was only one decision, to be faithful for it. Rector's address to students and staff became a crucial one. Ladies and gentlemen, our rector, Hrynyuk Raman Fedorovich, doesn't have superhero cape, but he is a true superhero. <laughs> he has saved the destinies of 5,000 students and hundreds of employees. We came to Vinica after him. We didn't know where would we live, study, or work. We were applauding the cars, cleaning the buildings, and putting the furniture together. And we were full of faith. We are very grateful to our rector, who have supported our initiative and proceeded our classes in the lecture rooms. Current year have united all the students. Despite the challenges, we won at national, scientific, and international competitions. We organized celebrations, helped the wounded, meet with the soldiers. I'm proud to be the student of Donetsk National University and the part of a large family which has passed the test, has kept its academic traditions and now moving towards its European future. Thank you.